Hello everyone, Sam Huggins here, your second favorite YouTube musician. Today is a day I've been waiting for for a long time. Today, my Soundbrenner Core just came in. For the uninformed, Soundbrenner Core is a musician smartwatch. So it's a combination smartwatch, uh, vibrating metronome, decibel meter, and guitar slash string instrument tuner. So let's, uh, let's take a little look. And here we are. And here we are. Got the Soundbender Core, the watch for all musicians. I am so excited about this. This was supposed to take like another two weeks for it to show up, but it just showed up on my doorstep tonight. So woo! <laughs> all right, let's open it up. Bam. Now, bam. Ooh. Designed by me. Four musicians by Soundbrenner, my man. Why does this, this open strangely? I can't forget this. Oh, it's because there's still tape here. What am I doing? <laughs> Professional unboxer right here. All right. So there it is. Oh, that's a beaut. Oh, oof, that's beautiful. I do, uh, do love me that start by taking a look at what's in here. Got a little manual for the core, a little sticker. It says Master of Craft, that's nice. We've got a little, uh, ooh, tuner mount adhesive. Ah, so this is for, if you take the watch bit off and put it on the tuner attachment, this is for that. Then, um, giveaway. <laughs> and then um, a little shout out to um, go review the product, which is, Fair enough. And also on the box, some instructions to go download the Soundbrenner Metronome app. That's a pretty important part of using this. So then in here, we've got what looks like the proprietary charging cable. The connector is not standard. This is specifically for this. And it looks to be about um, uh, like a one foot cable. It's pretty short. It's braided, so that's a nice touch. Then we've got I honestly haven't the foggiest idea what this is. I I I have I have no clue. This is Master of Craft Soundbrenner. Oh wait, it opens. Ah, earplugs. So these come as it's a vibrating metronome. It comes with earplugs so that um, you can focus on the vibration. That's smart. Those. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I'm never gonna use the earplugs, because I wear earbuds most of the time anyway, but nice touch. Next, we've got, um, caution, strong magnet. So you keep this away from my phone itself, probably. I think this is the uh, tuner mount right here. Then we've got a the body strap. So the benefit of the body strap is specifically generally for drummers, is that, because it's a watch, right? But if you're drumming, you might not feel the vibrations on your wrist, so you can wear it kind of like a bandolier, so that uh, you can have the vibrations on your chest, and that's a lot easier to focus on. So, good idea. <laughs> then we've got the actual watch band itself right here. Uh, silicone construction, nothing like fancy. There is an option called the Core Steel, which comes in all black and has like an, uh, like an Italian leather watch band, or you can buy that separately. But I chose to go for the base model because it's already very expensive. <laughs> so I didn't feel like spending another, like I think it was $150 more for the thing to come in steel instead of plastic. So it's just like, mm, nah, not gonna. Then we've got the actual, um, the brains of the whole operation right here. This looks really stinking cool. <laughs> this looks really futuristic. So this is the actual watch itself. Um, yeah, so I guess the first step, oh, is there any more inside this box? Oh, there might be, one second. No, I don't think there is. <laughs> so I think first step is going to be, um, listen to the manual for once. I almost never buy new tech and read the manual. But I have no idea how to set this up, so I think we're gonna start by reading the manual. <laughs> so, turns out I need to charge it for half an hour first. Let's go do that. <laughs> I 
I mean, it seems reasonable and all, but like, who would ever do something reasonable? Couldn't be me. Okay, so I've just gone through the setup process for setting up the uh, core. The core is a pretty quick setup process considering what it is, just a couple steps. You do need to install the Soundbrand and Metronome app, have an account there, it's not a huge deal. It's pretty quick all in all, it takes about 15 minutes or less, and then you're good to go. Um, so I'm not gonna go into a brief in-depth uh, description of like how to use all the functionality on the watch, because Soundbrenner has their own videos for that and it is a bit extensive, like it's there's a bit of a learning curve, but I'll go over some of the very basics. So, so as you can see, I've got the watch right here and this will be a little strange because I'm gonna be holding it like this. So what I can do is I can go turn on the screen then go into the app menu and then I'm gonna choose the metronome app. Now that I have it selected, I can tap three times for tempo. And now the tempo is set at 129, which is what I just tapped out and then double tap to start uh, vibrating. So now it's vibrating to the tempo that I just set up. And then it also allows you to change the tempo, the um, time signature, as well as the unit of measurement that you're doing. And then each individual beat also allows you to go free levels of vibration. So for example, let's say I want the, um, let's say I want the first beat to be three levels and then the third beat to be two levels. You can see it, by, it changes the color of the screen in, in, uh, according to that. So red is the highest level of vibration. Uh, yellow is the medium and then green is the lowest. You can also turn off this indicator light if you're not a fan of it because it is a bit flashy, but it's also quite nice. Um, I don't really have any way of showing what it actually feels like, but maybe I'll put it against the mic and see what that does. So I have no idea what you just got, but uh, maybe editing me will tell you how what just happened there. <laughs> So now I'm just gonna pause it. And then scrolling through back to the app menu, there's also um, a built-in tuner. So you take this off by turning it counterclockwise and then just taking it off. And then you attach it via the magnetic mount onto your guitar or other stringed instrument. And then just attach this right back on. Then there's also got a decibel meter, which um, doesn't detect decibels under 70 from what I can tell but it's very accurate above 70. And also I've set it up so that it'll give me an alarm if it goes to a too high level for sustained listening, which is really nice actually. I think it'll just vibrate repeatedly. Then we've also got a timer, a stopwatch, and then the settings. And then of course, as a smartwatch, it gives me uh, smartphone notifications. So this is the Soundbrenner Core. This thing is awesome. I already love it. Oh look, and it's already giving me notification. This thing is super cool, highly recommended. I've only just started playing with it, so we'll see. Um, yeah, I, I kinda I, I kind of love it. I have yet to actually try uh, playing an instrument with it, but from what I can tell, because you can customize the strength of the vibrations, there will be no pr trouble at all feeling that. And it's so much better than having a loud, annoying click in your ears. This thing can also link to Ableton and most other DAWs, I believe, and you can link up to six of them at a time so that you could have a full band of people hearing this instead of a loud, annoying click track. So that is really awesome. I like it. The Soundbrenner Core, check it out. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see more reviews slash unboxings that I've done, please check them out on the channel. I've done one for these boys, this boy, the thing controlling that boy, I've done it for a lot of things, <laughs> as well as a um, pair of in-ears. So if you'd like to see some other unboxings reviews, please check them out somewhere on the, the channel. You're already here. Might as well hit subscribe. You know, you know, I'm not, I'm not forcing you. I'm just saying it's an option. In any case, thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a very nice day. Okay, just out of curiosity, I want to see how fast this thing can actually vibrate. So I set the tempo to 400, the time signature to eight over eight, and then the denomination. <laughs> wow.
Let's stop that. I don't know what that does to the battery life in this thing. It's probably not great. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of fun, actually. That's like a lot. Wow. <laughs> All right. Have yourself a very nice day. Get out of here.